An inquest into three killings from Melbourne's bloody gangland war has heard that the cases may never be solved. A coroner found there was not enough evidence to identify who carried out the executions. The murders of Nick Radev, Mario Condello and Francesco Benvenuto were among the more than 30 tied to Melbourne's deadly gangland war. Theirs though remain unsolved more than a decade after the guns of the two rival crime gangs fell silent. Benvenuto was shot dead in his car in Beaumaris in 2000. The 52-year-old father of three was a close associate of Victor Pierce, who also fell victim to the war two years later. Today, a coroner found there was insufficient evidence to identify his killer. Drug trafficker and standover man Nick Radev died as he lived, violently. The 44-year-old was lured by drug trafficking associates to a purported meeting with a drug manufacturer in Coburg in 2003. He never made it gunned down in the gutter by one of the associates he'd travelled there with. The common thread between the two cases is the key suspect, prolific hitman Andrew Benji Veneman, who's long been suspected of pulling the trigger. Veneman, Carl Williams' right-hand man, died the following year, shot dead by rival boss Mick Gatto in self-defence in a Carlton restaurant. The murder of Gatto's friend, Mario Condello, is the third case ruled on by the coroner. Condello was facing charges of conspiracy to murder Carl Williams, his father George and a third man when he became yet another victim. The father of three fell to a hail of bullets as he got out of his car in the garage of his Brighton East home in 2006. Again, the coroner said there was not enough evidence to name his killer. Family members of the three murder victims chose not to attend today's hearing. They're among the countless victims of the underworld war often overlooked in the official tally. Police say the cases remain open, but concede charges are unlikely to be laid. Brendan Roberts, 7 News.